If you could redo high school all over again, what would you do differently? I think blank should apply himself more, appeared on a report card at least once every year from grades 6 through high school. I didn't really heed that advice until the final year of high school, and did enough to get into uni, but I could have accomplished a lot more if I'd clued in earlier. When I realized how disproportionate and psychologically deleterious my effort on keeping the a average, I'd have worked enough to hold the B-plus, A-minus line, and I wouldn't have wallowed in C territory, as revenge against God knows who. Keeping that A-plus average is what allowed you to use deleterious in a sentence and get upvotes for it. This was my first thought, and then I realized that my preferred career paths have always been more in the trades category. Getting straight A's wouldn't have progressed my life by much, if at all. Maybe a business degree in college, but I don't have a desire to own or run a business. I enjoy more labor-focused jobs, and those only require a high school diploma and often have on-the-job certification programs. I'd call people out more and not be a doormat for social psychos to knock around. Yes, I would go back and not be so afraid. Went back through my freshman yearbook a couple months ago and was stunned at how many people I hadn't thought of in decades. Definitely put how much I cared what people thought about me back then into perspective. Not get in a relationship, and just enjoy the experience more. I never dated in high school. Had some flings, of course, but I'll never regret that choice. I graduated with 55 kids and knew them all too well and knew it wouldn't last. Had some flings. I graduated with 55 kids. This needed a double take. Have confidence. I just saw some old pictures a while ago and, God, I was attractive. Back then, I would constantly talk myself down, and girls sometimes years later told me why I was so blind to their signs in high school. This was me too as well. Never really shoot my shot in high school as I thought I was unattractive. Got out of high school and was hit on multiple times. Became aware that I was actually pretty well off. Me three. I was so freaking shy around boys. Anyone I had a crush on or who had a crush on me, I was a complete dork and could not speak properly around them. Every single one of my high school reunions, number 50 is this year, some guy has come up and told me how big a crush they had on me, and I never knew. Be more social, a little more outgoing, try more sports. Maybe do the whole homecoming prom thing. I personally wished my parents made me play sports when I was young so I could actually pass tryouts in high school. That's what I'm thinking about my kid. I don't know if I should force them into doing any sport at all, because my mom didn't force me and now I regret not being more active in my youth. And I actually wanted to play sports in middle high school, but never bothered because I was so self-conscious about being behind. Now I want to play basketball, but I'm scared to join a league as an absolute beginner. Make them do it. Let them decide which sport, but get them moving. They'll thank you for it later. I have four in sports. Hard work, but worth it on so many levels. For us and them. And join a league. Try the YMCA. They have tons of adult leagues and are super welcoming. Worst case, you find it's not for you. Life's too short. Have fun. Stop trying to get the popular kids to like me and just do my own thing. The saddest part about this for me is that I was always on the outskirts of the popular kids. And now I don't have a single friend from high school because no one from that group cared about me. I really wish I had just made some genuine friendships. This was me. It still is traumatic for me to remember trying so hard to be liked, but continuously living on the outskirts and sometimes even being viciously bullied. But I just kept trying. I don't have one friend from middle or high school for this reason. For fuck's sake, I wish I had just not cared so much. Kids who had a slight chance of being popular would turn on genuine friends. It's so sad. The popular kids were treating each other like crap, too. Imagine the real housewives drama, but with kids. Yeah, I was a cheerleader, friends with athletes and student council since freshman year. After high school, nobody called or messaged me back. My sister's geeky little group is still going strong. She even married one of them. I was going down that toxic popularity path like so many other teens, and finally at the beginning of my senior year, I had an epiphany one day. 
why the f should I care about popularity? I just started not giving a f and started doing my own thing. Wish I'd discovered it sooner in life. Invent Google. Invent Google with this guy. I also choose this guy's Google. I'd care a lot less about what people thought of me. In retrospect, there really weren't that many people who gave me shit in high school. It was mostly me imagining the kind of shit people might give me, worrying about what they might be saying about me, getting anxious about scenarios that could happen. Christ, what a waste of time that was. Give a shit. 81 grad here. It was not until November of 80 that my dad asked me what I was doing after high school. Farm with you, was my reply. No, no room for you here, was his. At the time, my high school grades just didn't matter. So, in a few months of really not caring about grades, to where I'm going to college hit hard. At the time, joining a trade was not a consideration. They made beans comparatively. You can bet your sweet ass that each of my kids was talking about post-high school when they were in grade school, not fond of blindsiding them. Give a shit. This resonates. 81 grad as well. Applied myself minimally and didn't finish junior college. Biggest regret was not applying myself and working towards a goal. Hell, had a hell of a great time for sure, but really shorted myself on opportunities due to my own lack of ambition and drive. Find friends you can be goofy with. Don't change yourself for your peers or give up hobbies for the acceptance of others. I promise you, it's not worth it. And you'll regret putting down a passion for temporary popularity. It really isn't as important as it feels like it is in high school. Most people who are super popular in high school, by the time you're my age, mid-30s though, I was much younger when I realized this, you'll see the people who put popularity first didn't work to become better people later in life, as a general rule. And I promise you, being weird, i.e. true to yourself, and having hobbies is actually so much cooler than simply being cool when you're an adult. Oh, and hopefully this goes without saying, but if you receive any attention from an older person, more than maybe three years, run. It's not that you're so mature. It's that they're so creepy and grooming you. No matter how good they make you feel, it's not worth it. I promise. I was so oblivious to girls coming on to me. Not that I was a catch, but shy, naive me missed out on a lot of fun in the 60s. I hear you. I feel like a few girls liked me and were obvious about it, but I was not confident enough to act on it. About five years after I graduated, I ran into a girl coming out of a theater who'd graduated the same year. We chatted a bit, and she asked me why I'd never asked her out. Although I was deeply, madly in love with her in high school, I couldn't say... Oh God, you were so pretty and outwardly social that I was intimidated. So I just said, I didn't think we had anything in common. And I saw the sadness in her eyes. Then my wife came out of the restroom and we said our goodbyes. I laid in bed that night, lost in the memories of what might have been. I wished I'd never seen her. Not criticizing you or anything, but I have a question. Do you regret not pursuing her and marrying your wife? Obviously, you love your wife, but... Do you still feel love for the woman from high school? And if yes, where does it land compared to the love of your wife? The girl from high school took a piece of my heart that wasn't available for any other subsequent love interest and still has it. I regret not pursuing her, but at the same time don't regret marrying my wife. I still love my high school secret crush, but it's faded with time and distance. And there's nothing I can do about it. It just is. But I love my wife. Just not, as I've said, with all my heart. I hope that answers your question. I get to go back to that year and retain my current knowledge? Stonks. This is the only way. I'd save my money and buy option contracts and never work again. Knock the f*** out of my bully instead of just taking the abuse. Also, maybe actually tried more. As it turns out, after making it to uni, I'm actually pretty smart when I put in the work. Oh, this is easy. I would tell every f***ing girl to be nicer to every f***ing girl. The havoc that is wreaked on the female psyche from other girls in high school is so damaging and long-lasting. I have had countless dates who were plagued by insecurities, 
and two very long-term relationships where their image problems slash disorders originated from girl-on-girl bullying. Stop being so mean. Who the f*** would want to redo high school again? I had a great time in high school. I wouldn't want to do it again because four years is a long time to lose the independence of adulthood. But I'd gladly relive moments or days for fun and nostalgia. As much as I disliked high school, there were some aspects I really enjoyed. I wouldn't want to do the studying and coursework again, but all the extracurricular activities I did were fun. So what would you do differently if you had to redo high school? Looking at all the options, I'd probably say all of the above. But if I had to choose one... Stonks. Definitely stonks. Until next time.